From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. A man died after he was hit by a car in Warner Robins last night. The driver of the car is on the run. According to Warner Robins police, 53-year-old Clinton Taylor of Centerville was crossing Watson Boulevard when he was hit by a car traveling west. The driver did not stop. Taylor was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police say the suspect's vehicle will have damage to the right front fender and windshield. Cameras in the area are being checked for a description of the car. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. An elderly man who was reported missing has been found safe. 68-year-old Herman Lafayette of Macon has been located and reunited with his family. Atrium Health Navison are making changes to their masking policy. Effective March 30th, masking will be optional in non-clinical buildings and locations where no patient health care is provided. This change comes after the decrease in local cases of COVID-19. Spaces where masking will be optional include Atrium Health Navison Wellness Center, Navison Health Foundation, Atrium Health Navison Human Resources, business offices on Riverside Drive and in downtown Macon, and Atrium Health Navison Peyton Anderson Healthcare Education Center. Social media platforms are booming with comments on the confrontation that happened at the 2022 Oscars between Will Smith and Chris Rock. Sources say Rock joked about Smith's wife, Jada Pickett Smith's shaved head. Will Smith walked into the stage from his front row seat and slapped Rock. The crowd was in awe and many took to social media to express their thoughts. Pickett Smith revealed in 2018 that she was diagnosed with alopecia. She has often discussed the challenges of hair loss on Instagram and other social media platforms. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.